I can't believe people are so naive to what's happening in this country. Obviously the censorship is working. Those commie assholes censoring every other comment to make it look like we're not saying these things out loud is getting into people's heads. But let me tell you what's going on, right? Iran doing the missile strike, they're testing the waters to see what happens when they do that. That wasn't their whole capability of missile strikes. That was them doing a first smaller wave not to see whether Israel could defend from it, obviously they can defend from it. They wanted to see what the international response was. Because if they can get away with it, all the other countries can get away with it and then they can all missile strike and get away with it. Whereas if there's a response, they can say, oh the evil Jews, we need to retaliate and then they can just do one at a time. So they do intend to keep attacking and they are going to keep attacking and that's why Israel need to respond and they need to respond fast and hard to this. They need to strike Iran with some serious firepower. Whether America are on board at the moment or not, the writing's on the wall as far as I'm concerned. Biden can sit in a corner, diddle himself and pretend that negotiations or a two-state solution is going to happen. It's fucking pie in the sky. It's absolutely not going to happen. What's going to happen is this. Israel are going to strike back and if they don't, in a few months time they will get another missile strike, slightly bigger. And then they'll get two missile strikes or three missile strikes or maybe Afghanistan and Iran will get some weapons shared with Syria and Lebanon and then they'll get four strikes. And in the end, America will have to step in. That is who the real target of this war is. It's nothing to do with religion is what I've realised. It's not even anything to do with the Palestinians killing off the Jews like they like they claim to. This is a concerted proxy war targeting the West, America, Britain, Europe. So they can be dragged into the Middle East and weakened elsewhere, i.e. in Asia. So China can then attack Taiwan and America will be too thinly spread to do anything about it. That's where this is really headed. So I won't have any of this stuff about, oh, it's not World War Three, it's not a big deal. It's a fucking big deal, whether you want to admit to it or not. So I think I've said all I need to say. It's not a small thing, this. There is a massive level of step up with Iran directly attacking Israel. Whether or not they got any missiles through isn't the point. The point is they've proven there's a doubt in the mind of the West whether they want to take this world war on because they know what's up, they know what time it is. But Biden's fucking around, doddering around with his stupid old man head on. You know, what was needed was a strong leadership, a strong response. And he's completely failed, fallen on his backside. So, you know, Israel are doing the right thing. They're considering their next move, but they've said they're going to retaliate. And I believe that they will. And they will retaliate with some force. And whether they like to admit it or not, America are going to have to get involved before their election. That's what Biden's really worried about. He doesn't want to screw up his election chances any more than he already has, especially with Trump gaining in the polls like it's his worst nightmare. Obviously, the uh, Hamas guys and the Muslim terrorists, they know this. That's exactly what they want to see. So I'm going to end the video there and just remind everyone this is it this is literally historians are going to look back at this week and they're going to say this week was the start of world war three so if you've got any brains left rattling around inside your head after spending so many hours on tiktok <laughs> watching cam girls what i would suggest you do while prices are still stable before they skyrocket go and get some petrol in your car get a few canisters full of petrol for your garage as much as is legally allowed go and get some canned food put some bread in your fridge you know get yourself ready for prices to go like this because when war breaks out all over the world the global conflict really begins that's exactly what we're going to see prices are going to skyrocket riots are going to hit the street demonstrations are going to make life difficult and you and I are going to be the ones to suffer exactly well not exactly like but pretty similar to like they are in Israel when they're not under rocket strikes their economy suffers, all this stuff has to be paid for. Their society stu suffers because they are nervous and stressed and distracted from their usual progressive, productive selves. So, get yourselves prepared 
for what is going to be the start of a big fucking global conflict that we definitely are seeing. It's already started. Or you could just stick your head in the sand and pretend like it's not happening. You know, do a Biden. Oh, we can negotiate this away. We cannot negotiate this away. And the reason is the other side who started this war and are doing the missile strikes, they don't want to negotiate. They want a war. That's why they've invaded Israel. Why Iran are doing these missile strikes. Why they don't want to give the hostages back and why they don't want a peace deal. This is exactly what they wanted. So that's the end of this video. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Let's see you censor that, you smart-ass commie fucks.